Hey all, uh, this is Mike here. Uh, today I actually wanted to show you guys the uh, how do you upgrade the RAM for this particular laptop itself. So let's just open it up. Um, okay, this is the Asus TUF FX 504G laptop. Um, this is one of the latest uh, laptop available. Asus itself. Uh, this is the um, on one of the latest uh, Coffee Lake processor i7 8750H. So, um, and I managed to get myself a piece of this for my work. And um, the build quality wise, um, it's it's not like super high quality and stuff, but it's it, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, premium looking device. And um, I think the price is fairly reasonable for these packs that they have. For this one, I'm getting I'll, it will basically have the i 7850H, 4 gigs of RAM, um, 128 gig of SSD, plus one terabyte of Firecuda uh, SSHD, which is pretty good, right? Um, I'm, this is not going to be in depth review. Um, basically, I haven't actually used it uh, for a very long time, so this video will cover basically uh, some of the aspects of the laptop itself. Plus, also, how do you actually add additional RAMs to this uh, your laptop? As it comes to 4 gig, I'm gonna add additional 8 gigs of RAMs to this machine itself. So, if you take a look at it, um, this is how it looks like, right? And the, one of the big issues that I think is that they have a pretty hefty power brick. You look at the uh, power brick that this thing comes with, and you look at the size of it; it's actually pretty big, but. Um, I guess because this is uh, quite a big machine, so that's that's the reason why it's so big. And um, just let's put it aside and let us proceed into um, taking a look at the internals of the laptop itself. Okay, if you take a look at it, uh, there is a, a sticker here. I think this is to forbid people from opening up the compartment behind. Uh, so basically, if you don't open this compartment, you can't actually upgrade the RAM. As I don't see there's any other openings except for opening up the entire bag. So uh, let's just proceed with opening up this box itself. So what I'll do, I'll leave this to the last piece. Since uh, this is on a sticker, I'll see whether I can remove it without causing too much uh, issues. Let's just get on with it. Okay, if you take a look at it, um, <clears throat> there are four short screws at the side. So this four short screws is for the, uh, the forefront, and the others, the rest of it, are long screws, which is for the rest of the screws itself. So uh, the middle one, I'm not too sure. Let just let me try to open it up without causing too much issues. Okay, I lift out the plastic piece. So now let's just open up the last screw. So the last screw is a pretty short one. So um, this is the shortest, I guess. Or it's the same as the previous four screws. So once all the stuff is uh, lifted up, uh, you can try to open up the back panel itself now and see how it goes. If it doesn't open up that easily, you will need to have a pry tool at least to uh, pry the side of the laptop to actually opening up. Okay, once you have all the pry tool in place, you should be able to lift up the. Uh, itself so as you can see this is the cover so once that is open you should be able to see the internals of this uh, laptop so we have a big 48 watt hour battery and this will be your M.2 SSD 28 gig and this is, should be your Firecuda SSD which is the uh, Firecuda SSHD uh, which is the um, improved version of the hard drive that is available and as well this will be the RAM slots this is the one that comes with the with the what do you call it with the machine itself. There's a RAM, so there's a Wi-Fi card, and there will be another RAM slot here for the upgrades. So what we do now, as I have, as you can see, I have a RAM slot available. I'll open it up and I'll put it in, and we'll boot it up and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the HyperX RAM that I got. Uh, it's two two six 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 megahertz, which is basically the same uh, megahertz as whatever that's in this local <coughs> local RAM itself so I'll just put it in and we'll put it up okay as you can see now I just removed the uh, black piece of 
material here and um, what I do is just that uh, I put the ram in and I just stick it back on top and see how it goes right officially I think because of the sticker that it might stick to the ram itself but once it's slotted in I guess it's fine so what we do now is just to put back the cover itself make sure that it's aligned properly and you need to clip, clip everything back in place so that you can screw the thing back in right Okay, so once we are done with all the, uh, the, up the upgrades of RAM and stuff, we can actually close it back. So we have a few screws here, just let's slide off with the long one. So the long one should be here at the side. So once the, all the screws are back in, then what you need to do is to have E. See, there is one piece of plastic which we'll need to put it back at the correct place here to cover this back. As this one is this this the one that comes with it. But then just cover it back and close it back. And it looks pretty good so far. I think it's all done. So we'll boot it up and take a look at it. Okay, we have booted up into the uh, into the Then we can take a look at the, uh, at the task manager to see whether we have all the 12 RAMs available. If we show more details, and we can see the performance. As you can see now, we have 11.9 gig. Uh, this is the i5-i7-850H CPU. And also this is the uh, memories that we have, 12 gigs of RAMs after we add it in. So sodium 2667 uh, speed and this would be the uh, processors that we have six core processor 12 module processors so this is one of the latest coffee lake processors so if you guys are interested in getting one of these uh, laptop I, the gaming laptop i think it's pretty decent i can't say it's like super good or anything but um, it's entry level gaming laptop and um the only exceptions that I think this doesn't have is like uh, this is running on GTX 1050 4 gigabyte, so it's enough for decent gaming, not high frame rate rendering and, and stuff, but it's decent gaming. And the only downside that I can see from this laptop itself, it's the uh, missing Thunderbolt 3 port. I think they have all the USB port, HDMI port, a uh, LAN port. Um, headphone audio jack and stuff but the only missing is the Thunderbolt 3 so if that is not important for you and then there's a pretty good buy um, in my country I think I get it for for this specs if plus the RAM it will be equate around it will be around around 1000 odd USD so um, it's a pretty decent gaming laptop if I should say it it has all the features that it needs maybe not as good as the Zephyr series from Asus but um, it's on a budget so if you're on a budget and you want to get something on that has the uh, latest coffee lake processors which have uh, uh, SSDs as the boot drive as well as the if I could uh, hard disk as your storage uh, this is a pretty decent one so and uh, that's all I have for today um, so if you guys uh, have any other questions regarding this laptop you can uh, leave a note down below or leave a comment down below I'll try my best to answer you in order to help you to see whether you want to decide to get one of these um, um, that's all for today if you like my video please give it a thumbs up um, and i hope to see you again soon bye